EU leaders gave Council President Herman Van Rompuy on Tuesday a mandate to start consultations on who could be the next president of the European Commission. In a special EU summit that took place only two days after Europe went to the polls, EU leaders ignored the European Parliament's demand to endorse the EU election winner, centre-right candidate Jean-Claude Juncker. Leaders have given me a mandate to conduct these consultations on behalf of the European Council. I intend to be in touch with the presidents of the newly constituted political groups as soon as these groups are formed and their presidents elected. I will also have bilateral talks on this with the members of the European Council, including on the European Union's future priorities and strategic agenda. Some EU countries have already voiced their opposition about Juncker taking the top EU job. Sweden, the Netherlands, the UK and Hungary are among them. German Chancellor Angela Merkel acknowledged that her centre-right party's candidate might not end up heading the Commission. Und jetzt werden wir heute im Rat beraten, wie wir die Konsultation mit dem Parlament aufnehmen. Dazu werden wir Hermann von Rompuy ein Mandat geben, dies zu tun, natürlich in Zusammenarbeit auch mit Jean-Claude Juncker, der ja vom Parlament aus ersehen wurde, die Konsultationen zu führen. Und ich hoffe, dass wir mit unseren Beratungen gut vorankommen. Es wird über Inhalte gehen der zukünftigen Arbeit in den nächsten fünf Jahren und dann natürlich über die Personalfragen. EU Heads of State also discussed the aftermath of the Parliament election, which saw the rise of anti-EU parties across the Union. In France alone, Extreme Right Front National took 25% of the votes. EU leaders will meet on June 26 to continue with negotiations.